Web3 TV friends. I'm Lisa Amnegard, and we are at the Binance Blockchain Week 2024 here in Dubai. And joining me now is Milan Kumar from Definity. So thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. And uh, how are you today? All good. Nice environment. Feeling all happy. So the event is going great and nice turnout today. Yeah, it's been a really great turnout. And is this your first Binance Blockchain Week event that you've attended? Well, not the first Binance event I've attended, but first this year for me. It was the first, okay. And um, you are here um, talking about the uh, internet computer. So can you tell us a little bit more about the vision of that and uh, what can we expect from internet computer? Sure, so internet computer protocol is a layer one blockchain. Uh, being a layer one, we focus on multiple aspects. Uh, currently, we have around 200 projects roughly building on ICP. So they're in different categories. Some would be in gamify, socialfy, defi. Mm -hmm. uh, AI is a big thing that's being used by different projects. One of the things here, Decide AI is an AI project building on ICP. So that's one aspect to it. Uh, we are completely decentralized. The, the foundation that got ICP running is called Definity, and it stands for Decentralized Infinity. Mm -hmm. So the whole focus has been about how we can decentralize everything, moving away from one choke point. Uh, one of the key focuses for us is the the things that are stored is everything is stored on chain on ICP. So unlike other chains using AWS or Google Cloud, everything is stored on the nodes and the subnets, which are distributed across the planet and randomly selected. So it's not that mm. you can just pick one and that one person can control your entire app. If they shut down, you're out of business. So this is one of the few things that we focused on. Uh, we have a 20 year roadmap. We went live in 2021. We've celebrated three years of establishment. Congratulations. Uh, Thanks. And one of the key thing is governance. So currently mm. in our governance sector, it's $1.8 billion worth of token that's staked, which people are using to vote mm. yeah. on what should be done. How, how does the development change? How, what should be the next focus? One of the recent things we have done is chain fusion. So we did a native integration with Bitcoin where our smart contract can talk with the Bitcoin ledger. And we had a one-to-one -one twin of BTC, which we call CKBTC. CK for chain key, that's the technology we use. Mm -hmm. And unlike other places where, again, there's a central point, a company that issues something. Here, it's a smart contract that locks the Bitcoin on one side and issues a twin of it, which then revolves around at ICP, where ICP can then work as a layer two. So okay. this is with Bitcoin, this is with Ethereum and any other major chain. So we're becoming this one key point where the idea is we can work as a infra layer where anybody even built on another chain can use one end with us and deal with any other chain as well. So that's one of the other focuses. AI is obviously there. Mm. We have some RWA tokens also being built on ICP. So the focus is pretty large. A complete run, a roadmap of 20 years, three years in. Yeah, yeah. And hoping it goes well. And when you're talking about governance, what are some challenges when it comes to, to that topic? Well, one would be education and information because misinformation travels really fast. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have a good intention, you come up with something that you want to do, but then it does not go through the people in the right way. Or there's some you know, negative services at play who want to like get the wrong word out. So if that is not true, then the governance may not really be very correct because then people might vote against a policy that might be wanting to be implemented, a move, and then it gets stuck. Yeah. That's one thing. And the non-related thing I would say is a governance at a higher level, which you're not really involved with. No, that's no. with regulatory bodies. Yeah. But yeah, at governance, the biggest challenge is making sure the right word is out so the people know what they're doing for and then they can make the right decision based on it. And how are events like this? Do you think that helps educate people or what are your Definitely. thoughts? Definitely. Yeah. Because what happens is we meet a lot of people who don't know about you completely or they have some small idea, but the feedback they have is from a YouTube channel or some yeah. social media post. So here you get to talk to them. You talk to them for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And we've met a lot of people who have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. So it's good because then they start understanding more. Some of them might want to build. Some of them are already wanting to vote for some of the proposals and stuff. Some just wants to understand the ecosystem at large. So it's, it's really helpful connecting with more people. No, no, that's really important. Yeah. And um, the event over the next two days is about momentum. So um, what are some things that you hope for the industry to happen within the next year or so? Well, what I would really like, you know, personally, I've been in the blockchain space since 2013. So <clears throat> what I would really like is during this one year, people really start seeing the value of blockchain yeah. because blockchain is a technology which while everybody talks about it, many people don't realize its true ability and it's somewhere getting lost in different narratives. Mm. So what I would really hope is that when the momentum comes back, people can understand what the technology can do, what its implications are, what its benefits are. Mm. Of course, there are some drawbacks which needs to be fixed, but the true understanding of tech so that this 
inter-chain competition somewhere dies out and a common goal is made. Because today, who are roughly 2% of people are in blockchain. It's a long way to go, so it's too early to, to have this cutthroat competition, but something yeah. to work in a collective way so that blockchain, the true values are not lost. This way, it will eliminate a lot of bad players in the ecosystem, which is also very important. Mm. And they are the ones who usually bring you the bad name. So the ones like us who really want to build, they get sometimes pushed down the link and then they're not really able to grow as much because yeah, of some yeah. really bad players. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sort of, you hear one bad player and then um, the reputation yeah. for sometimes the industry. Yeah gets a little bit uh, dented for a bit yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways uh, thank you so much for speaking with me and it's really interesting and um i'm excited to see what else the um, the internet computer achieves and thank you for sure. for speaking with me pleasure's all mine web3 tv friends i will be interviewing more people so stay tuned and we will have more content coming your way thank you thank, thank you, you.